what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama in my bedroom. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be packing and yeah, it's not working. Um, so anyways, guys, I have a Dollar Tree haul. I know I said I was not going to shop there very much and I really haven't. Um, a lot of my videos are old from like last week. I think I've only been there once this week because um, we've obviously been very busy. But I have found like one of my top wish list. Oh gosh, this kid. I have found one of my top wish list items that I will show you towards the end. But for right now, let's get started. So I picked this um, just a frozen um, placemat up. But the reason I picked it up, I don't have any girls. But I saw, um, I think it's the Posh Paper Lady. She made purses out of um, placemats, but they were the thicker placemats. But they were for adults, and they were cute little things. But I was like, I wonder if this, it got squished in my car. I was, Later. bye. Sorry, my son was saying goodbye. But I was love like, you. I love you too. Um, so I was like, I wonder if this is going to be too thin to be able to make one. I don't know. So I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm listening to my kids in the living room. Um, so anyways, I'm going to see if this, I can make a purse out of this. I'll let you know. This is actually a lot of kind of different things that I found that I'm really excited about. Um, hope, sorry, I'm trying to hear my kids, but anyways, so there's a lot of different things in here that I think, hold on one second, please. Hey guys, sorry. I don't think it ever gets old when you have kids. Like, I just always wonder, like, am I ever going to not be interrupted? But it's okay. It's okay. So anyways, like I was saying, a lot of this is kind of crafting stuff that I have seen on different things that I want to try. Again, when am I going to have time? But I love picking it up. But this right here is just an Avengers reusable bag. And again, with my middle son living in LA, they use the reusable bags a lot. And, um... He loves Avengers, Star Wars. He just loves Marvel and Star Wars. So I did pick him this up. So I got that. And then let me see what else is in here. Just the dog biscuits because my dogs love them and they are out and they're amazing little puppies. So it's one pound of the peanut butter ones um, for a dollar. Oh, I've been looking for this. I don't know why it was 75 cents, but this is my ibuprofen. I need to be using that. This right here is one of my other favorite snacks because I can't find my pita chips with cinnamon a lot at the Dollar Tree. But these are sesame chips and they are honey roasted and they are four ounces. And so there's actually four containers in here. Four, I'm sorry, four servings, which is, I only snack on them. So it is like four servings for me, but it's 150 um, calories per serving. They're really good, guys. They are really good. And then, again, I just picked up the mini writing tablets, 3.5 inches by 5 inches. And there is, I don't even know, 5, 35 pages in there just because I want to make some um, different little craft things. I picked up some um, stickers, again, because um, actually I'm going to upload a video. My son finally brought, when he came back this time from L.A., he brought the Avengers um kind of scrapbook that I made him and it's a huge scrapbook and I did not fill up all the pages like it was a lot of work and a lot of um like there's a lot of open pages in there so he just brings it back every now and then and I add just some more of the pages if I find more stickers um so again these are the pop-up stickers I found these I loved the cameras because, again, he is going to L.A. film school and he um, does different filming. He has his own little um, photography wedding business thing going. He's like an entrepreneur, guys. Like, so anyways, I picked these up to put in his um, book. And since he lives in L.A. and he kind of goes, he doesn't go to the beach a lot. He doesn't go as much as I would if I lived there. But he does love the beach. And so I figured I would put some of these beautiful, they're like the wood stickers, guys, like, they are nice. And there is 12 in here. I'm trying to get the glare off for you. So I picked those up for him. And then these I just thought were beautiful. These are 14 pieces in there. The puffy. I'm trying to get the glare. Look at the colors on that. So I have actually had more time to be doing junk journaling. Um, because, I mean, let's be honest. We all say well, we don't have time. We can make time for certain things. We just don't. And so I told myself, Amy, you really need to start making time for the things that you like to do. And I love crafting. So I have made a little bit more time. I'm excited. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the stuff I've made. Um, and then I picked up these stickers. Let me get it closer. How pretty are those? 
they are beautiful it says like wish forever love cherish so pretty and there's eight of them I'm gonna see. <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry um repurchase so you know just the two packs of the mountain trail mix because there's four one ounce packages in each of those and my kids love them um sorry I was looking I'm like I think I already sold some of these so these last couple of things so there's like a couple more things and then my wish list item that I was so excited to find and so let me just show you what I got I don't I don't think I hauled these yet but so these are just the um the little pencil pouches from Jot that are, I mean, they're not the greatest. Wait a minute. Does the zipper work? Oh, yeah, it does. I just didn't have it going the right way. But it's just a simple little pencil pouch, right? But what I'm going to do, I don't have really a junk journal right here that's big enough. But anyways, this is one I'm working on right here on my desk, right? But obviously it would have to be bigger than this. I saw this one where the lady puts like trying to open it a little bit so she used like a hair tie on one of the elastic headbands and she kind of glued it right here and she used it like she put it here on the book actually she probably put it to the side but whatever she so you put it here and then you use the thing to tie your journal clothes the elastic headband I am not explaining this correctly but anyways I'll show you when I do do it so she used that to elastic the book clothes but then you could put your pencils and stuff in right here also I don't know if I'm explaining it right but I thought it was a really cute idea so these are the only two I could find out of any colors over there so I picked these two up and again I mean here's okay let me haul this and show you first so here is another one of the books by Jot um, and they are like the traveler's notebook ones and these stickers do come off not easily, let me tell you, but they do come off. And so I thought, well, this is already done for me, right? So I really am trying to do a craft fair. So I thought like, um, somebody told me that if you use alcohol, which didn't work, but if you use a fingernail file or something possibly on the journals, on the covers, like it'll make it less shiny because I don't want it shiny. Excuse me. And I'm gonna just put some lace. I'm gonna embellish like this whole front side and everything and make it not even look like this, but it's already a junk journal put together for me. And then if you open them, you know, um, they already have the elastics just holding them in. So you can pull it out and you can do whatever you want to all the pages. So I am just going to use this junk journal. I did get one. I figured I could put some little charms or whatever on here. It'll be so cute and not even make it look like it was the Jot one. And it was a dollar. It's literally done for me, you guys. Done. So actually, let me see. I mean, I guess it would go, it wouldn't go this way, but so if you were going to do it, I don't know. Anyways, I'll show you guys later how to do it, but you just like put an elastic headband on the back of here and then use this as your journal closure. And then like this is already glued onto it. So your little pencil and stuff stays right with it. Anyways, I'm sure you guys know that. So I did pick up, so you guys know, I love the Dollar Tree photo albums in any way, shape or form, right? So they have the little plastic ones, which I know I don't have them right here. Sorry, this is my craft table for right now. But um, so anyways, I had some of just the plastic covered ones up here that I have been using actually a right here. Anyways, it's just, yeah, it's just the little ones. I've been using those to make um, little like brag books and little, um, I'm sorry, cookbooks, recipe books, because I love doing that. But then I suck, you guys. Like I've said before, I suck at making a cover, right? So, and then when you use like, um, I mean, even if you use this, people, you could use this as your cover. Um, and people use cereal boxes and you have to like make the... Um, this, oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. I cannot think of my words. You have to make like the binding part, whatever right here, the back of the book, like you have to put tape around it or whatever to make it like a sturdier book. But it's already done for me, right? So, and this, you guys, pulls out so easy. So I did it on one already, but okay. So I just, if you just pull these out, you don't have to pull them out. You could leave them in there and put little things in there. So you could leave it in here and then put some just regular papers in here and just put like scrap paper or whatever in here and you could make yet another like junk journal thing and let me tell you guys that tape is good i mean the glue is like a good glue but anyways if you didn't want to so i took that out right so here is 
a junk journal cover that is done. This comes off of the back. So again, you can cover this in fabric if you want. You can put scrap paper on top of it if you want. You can do anything you want, but it is already like got your middle part right here for you so you don't have to like stabilize it or anything and then so my idea right here for where the pictures are this area I thought like how cute would that be if I put like a bunch of tags in here you just slide a bunch of tags in there and use it like as a pocket so yeah that is yet another one so actually I have quite a few of um the little things that I'm working on um from the Dollar Tree that are like um I'm trying to use them as like um, the covers of my junk journals versus making them myself because I suck at making them myself. Um, and so I'm actually going to do a full video on that because I have several things that I am taking just from the Dollar Tree and altering it. Maybe the stuff I use on it and use in it are not, but I am using just the base from the Dollar Tree and just going with it. So I'll do a video later on that. But that, guys, is what I have for you. Um, again, I shouldn't be doing any more videos for a while of hauls because we are moving. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you those couple of things. And again, I'll do a video maybe this afternoon or tomorrow um, of just a couple of the things I've been working on, which I'm very excited about. And let me just show you guys. Oh, this whole thing is full of all the um, little golden books that I, have completed I mean that's a lot so I just have to take them down to the book place and have the um the little holes drilled into them and I believe they said they would charge me like 50 cents a book which is nothing and then um I'll put the little clasps on them and I'll show you guys what I got so um yeah guys I'm sorry that I have been so flighty lately like sometimes I watch my videos and I'm like how do I get any views like I'm not even with it sometimes. Like, I can't even think of what the, I don't know, the, whatever. I'm just not, I'm sorry that I just can't think of my words lately. There's a lot going on. We all have a lot going on in our lives, right? So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. And um, I just want to say thank you for all my supporters. I can't believe I'm a year into YouTube and I'm still doing it. It's probably the longest I've ever done anything besides my marriage and my children and my job. But, yeah. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's me again. So this is just a little bit of a tad of the, the end of my video. I totally forgot to show you guys that I got my wish list item, which I am ecstatic about. So I found the candy jars. I was so excited. I can't believe I forgot to put this in my video. And um, again, they... Everyone has even said, which is true, they don't have a seal or anything, but they are amazing. So I forgot to show you guys that I've gotten two of these. So that was the wish list item I was so excited about. So anyways, now I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.